Have you ever overlooked the Lightroom Classic catalog panel? I know I used to. Well, in this video, we're gonna talk all about it. Welcome to the Visual Center, I'm Trent. And in today's post-production tips, we're continuing our discussion all about Lightroom Classic, specifically the Lightroom Classic catalog panel. Now this panel has some great collections which can help us manage our images within the software. Now, four of these collections are, are always available within the catalog panel. The others only appear after certain actions. So let's take a closer look at this panel. The catalog dropdown is located here within this left panel in the library module. If I select it and drop it down, you'll see four collections here on the left and the number of images in each collection here on the right. Now you're most likely to see these four collections within the catalog. First, we have all photographs. This collection contains all the images within our Lightroom Classic catalog. If we're curious about how many images we have within our catalog, the number here on the right will tell us. Now, if I ever get to a point in my editing where I can't see all of my images, often I can click this all photographs collections and make it back to my entire catalog of images. Next, we have all synced photographs. This collection contains all the photographs which are synced to the cloud for use with other Adobe software. Now we'll be going over syncing images to the cloud in future videos, and there are some really exciting features. So be sure to subscribe so you can follow along with us. Next, we have quick collection. This is a one-off temporary collection. If we need a more immediate way to create a collection, let's say for a client to prove during a shoot or to quickly compare images across our catalog, or I've even used this to temporarily collect images together for a submission for a class assignment or a show. This quick collection is a great option for a quick collection. Now let me show you how it works. The plus symbol next to the collection means it's the targeted collection for a keyboard shortcut. If we see the plus symbol at the end of quick collection, when we press the letter B on our keyboards, whichever image we have selected will be added to this quick collection. If we don't see the plus symbol, just right click on quick collection and select set as targeted collection like you see here. Now, let's add some images to this quick collection. So I go back to all photographs and I select an image and press the letter B that will be added now to quick collection. You can see the number here next to quick collection has updated. Let's select a few more images. Select, select. Now you can see I've selected three images to this quick collection. So you can see here. Now I can also press Command B on a Mac or Control B on a Windows to navigate straight to my quick collections. Or I can just click here with my mouse. Now you can see these three images have been temporarily added to this quick collection. Now if I want to remove an image from the quick collection, all I have to press again is a letter B. So B, B, B. Now my quick collection is empty as you can see here. Let's go back to all photographs. Now there's also a shortcut on top of our actual images. So if I hover over image, you see a small circle in the top right corner of this image. If I select that circle, those images will be added to the quick collection as you see here, three. So now if I wanna clear this out with one keystroke, instead of selecting each one individually like this, I can also press Command Shift B or Control Shift B on Windows to empty out my quick collection. Let's go back to all photographs. Now last we have previous import. This collection is pretty self-explanatory. All the images we imported during our last Lightroom session will appear here. Now this can be helpful if we organize our images into subfolders based on date captured, like I recommended in my previous importing video. Now click here to watch that. Now if you followed along in that previous video, then our images will appear here in the folder section under each date captured. This previous import option is a great way to see everything from our last import all in the same place instead of separate date folders like you see here. All right, so those are the four basic collections found within the catalog panel in Lightroom Classic. Now there are also some temporary collections which can appear in the catalog. Now these include all sync errors, previous export as catalog, added by previous export, missing photographs, previous process photos, and invalid GNG files. If you see any of these temporary collections in the collection panel and are wondering what they are, please let me know in the comments below and I will do my best to answer you. 
All right, we have covered the basics of the catalog panel in Lightroom Classic. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.